Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you where you can find all the information you need to be able to set up an online payment and make payments onto your rates account via internet banking. So on the home page, click on the rates button. On here you will find the link to go through to the payment options and you'll also find some information if you've been affected by COVID-19 and need to set up a bit of a payment arrangement to pay your rate. On this page too you can also find our online rating database. When you click through to the payment options you'll see here that you can make a payment by internet banking which we're talking about today. If you're still paying things by check you can send your check in via the post. You can make credit card payments over the phone and for your rates, you can set up a direct debit. For internet banking, you can highlight the Buller District Council account number. If you right click on that, you can copy it. And then when you head over to your internet banking, in the account number box, where you need to put the account that you're paying, you can right click again and it should give you the option to paste. For the reference of your payment, most banks will give you three boxes. So in the particulars, put rates. In the code, put your valuation number, which you can find at the top of your rates demand. And in the reference, pop in your surname. Once you've set these payments up once, we make a one-off payment once, your bank will usually give you the option to be able to save the payee details. So when you go back in again, it'll just be a super easy process and you won't have to redo this all again. If you'd like to set up a direct debit, head further down this op payment options page and you can click on the direct debit application form. Fill this out and get it back to council. For direct debits, you can set these up to be weekly, which get deducted on a Thursday. Fortnightly, these are also deducted on a Thursday. Monthly, they get deducted on the 20th of the month. Quarterly, they're deducted on the due date of each quarter. And annually, they're deducted on the due date for the first quarter. If you're not sure where your valuation number is, or you haven't got a rates demand to find your valuation number, you can head back to the rates page and head down to the online rating database. So in here, you can put your address, just the name of your street. You don't need to put whether it's a street or a road and the number. Click on your relevant property and the number at the top here, the valuation ID is your valuation number. If you've got any questions, you can always contact council. Free phone on 0800 807 239 or flick an email to info at bdc.govt.nz.